All right, kids, the Extreme Rig Challenge is back. And this time they're stepping it up a little bit, classy style. There we go. So instead of a backpack, we get a briefcase. And instead of a piece of paper that I printed out out of my email, actually I have that too, I get this black envelope. So let's follow the instructions, shall we? Set up your camera. We got a Brandon over there, no problem. Open the box. The first thing you'll see is a black envelope. Mine was on the outside of the box, that's okay. Extreme Rig Challenge 2017. The top system builders in the world, 12 of them, are competing to see which seven are going to attend PAX East. So you guys are gonna have to vote to see which of them is gonna be unveiling their rigs in March. So you can follow on social media by using hashtag Rig Challenge Sweepstakes. And you can enter the sweepstakes over at rigchallenge.intel.com. What exactly could you win? Well, they're giving away an HTC Vive and you can vote, I believe once a day it is. You'll find the full terms in the video description. You can also win one of the amazing rigs. So how, let's have a look at what's in here. Oh, first up is an all access pass to PAX East. Wow, includes airfare, hotel, and conference. So fun fact about these all access passes, I tried to use one for PAX Prime with the last Intel rig challenge. You ha still have to go to the ticket counter. You don't just put this on and try and walk through the door. They don't let you in. That was fun. Uh, next up, we've got a t-shirt. These are always large. Why do they assume that nerds are large? I wear a medium, that's okay. I'll give it to Luke and he'll be happy. He doesn't like paying for clothes anyway. And next up, we've got ooh, some very interesting stuff here. A lot of very safe protective foam and... Oops, that's awkward. It's over here. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have thrown around this uh, this doodad here before we, uh, before we got started. So we've got a Core i7 7700K. This is Intel's flagship mainstream processor. So this puppy's clocked at 4.2 gigahertz and she'll boost higher than that with a fully unlocked multiplier for overclocking. Basically you put this in any Z270 board, you throw a nice cooler on her and it is pretty much off to the races. It also has upgraded support for a wider range of DDR4 dual channel frequencies. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about it. It's about as fast as it gets for gaming today. This one's interesting though. This is one that I haven't seen before. This is Intel's SSD 600P. So Intel finally has an M.2 NVMe SSD. They were one of the first ones out the door with PCI Express and U.2 SSDs targeted towards consumers and they followed it up with M.2. So they sent over their one terabyte capacity one. So this will be a great upgrade for a desktop or a notebook, whatever it is that you need to have a ton of wicked fast storage inside. And uh, I'm actually really looking forward to putting this puppy through the paces in the next little bit. Super tiny. So it uses the M.2 interface right there and the NVMe protocol over the M.2 interface for reduced latency and improved performance. You can learn more about the whole M.2 NVMe AHDI quagmire right over there and figure out how to know if your system would be compatible with a 600p. But in the meantime, the priority is the Extreme Rig Challenge. So follow hashtag Rig Challenge Sweepstakes on social media and head over to the link in the video description to start voting. Vote early, vote often for a chance to win an HTC Vive or one of the rigs.